Hello all and welcome back. There may be several reasons why a developer may want to hide a sheet or worksheets in Microsoft Excel. Five main reasons that I can think of is, first is data organization, second handling sensitive information, handling complex calculations for presentation purposes, and hide sheets with macro or VBA logic. In this video, I'll be covering in detail on how to hide or unhide worksheets. What I would recommend is that you practice it with me so that your basics get clear. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's begin. Like I mentioned, there are several reasons why people might choose to hide sheets and worksheets in Excel. Sometimes a workbook contains multiple worksheets, each serving a different purpose. Hiding certain worksheets can help in organizing the data and focusing the user's attention on the relevant information. Then there are times when workbooks are shared among multiple users or distributed externally. Then in that case, certain worksheets might contain sensitive information such as financial data, personal details or proprietary formulas. Hiding these worksheets can help protect this information from unauthorized access or accidental modifications. And then there are complex Excel models with multiple interconnected worksheets that might be intermediate or backend worksheets that are not intended for direct user interaction. Hiding these worksheets can prevent users from inadvertently altering critical calculations or formulas. Also, when presenting Excel workbook in meetings or to clients, Hiding irrelevant or auxiliary worksheets can help streamline the presentation and avoid confusion. It allows presenters to focus solely on the information that is relevant to the audience. And finally, in Excel workbooks that utilize macros or VBA code, developer might hide certain worksheets that contain supporting data or code modules. This helps in organizing the workbook structure and prevents user from accidentally modifying or deleting essential components of the macros. Overall, hiding sheets and worksheets in Microsoft Excel can be a useful feature for maintaining data integrity, improving organization, enhancing presentation, and safeguarding sensitive information. To hide sheet or worksheet in Microsoft Excel using VBA, you have to use the dot visible property. Let's see how we can do this. Let's head over to the VBA editor. If you're unsure what VBA editor is, then I highly recommend that you watch VBA editor and introduction. The dot visible property returns or sets an Excel sheet visibility value that determines whether the object is visible or not. The Excel sheet visibility enumeration has three constants. Excel sheet hidden, Excel sheet very hidden, and Excel sheet visible. As you can see in the table, these three constants have three values. I will talk about this in a short while. The Excel sheet hidden hides the worksheet which the user can unhide via the menu. Excel sheet very hidden hides the object so that the only way you can make it visible again is by setting the property to true. The user cannot make the object visible using a menu. Finally, we have Excel sheet visible. This simply displays the sheet. These three decide the visible state of the sheet or worksheet. So let's insert a module. You will see that there is another module here, which is sample. I will talk about this in a short while. Let's add a module. I'm going to add a procedure. I'll call that procedure hide worksheet. But before we go ahead and hide a worksheet, first let's add a worksheet. I will explain this in a moment. So let's go back to Excel and I'm going to manually add a worksheet just by clicking on this icon. Okay, let's go back. Let's start typing sheet to dot visible is equal to and we see that IntelliSense suggests three constants. Let's choose the first one, which is Excel sheet 
hidden. If you remember, I explained a short while ago that Excel sheet hidden hides the worksheet which the user can unhide via menu. So let's go ahead and let's test this. To run the code, ensure that your cursor is inside the procedure. Now click on the run sub user form button or simply press the shortcut key F5. If you go back to Excel, you will see that the worksheet is hidden. Since we used the constant Excel sheet hidden, we can unhide the sheet manually either by clicking on home and then clicking on format and then clicking on hide and unhide and then clicking on unhide sheet. Select sheet 2 and click on OK. So this is one way to unhide the sheet. You can also unhide the sheet by right clicking on the sheet tab and by clicking on unhide. And then you can unhide this sheet from here. The third way to unhide the worksheet is to press the shortcut key Alt O H U. So let's press that. Again, ensure that the relevant sheet is selected and then you can click on OK to unhide the sheet. Having said that, we will not unhide the worksheet manually. We will use VBA code to do that. So I'm going to cancel this. Let's go back to the Visual Basic Editor, right? And now to unhide the sheet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the third constant, which is Excel sheet visible. So what does Excel sheet visible do? This displays the hidden sheet. Let's go ahead and let's test this. I've just run this procedure. And if I go back to Excel, you will see that sheet two is now visible. Now let me share an interesting fact with you. Instead of using Excel sheet hidden or Excel sheet visible, you can also use the Boolean constants true and false. And that is because the value of Excel sheet hidden and Excel sheet visible is the same as true and false. Let me demonstrate that to you using the immediate window. A short while ago, I mentioned that the value of Excel sheet hidden is zero and Excel sheet visible is minus one. Let's see if this is true. I'm going to type question mark Excel sheet hidden and I'll press the enter key and I get a value of zero. Similarly, if I type Excel sheet visible and if I press enter, I get minus one. So the value of Excel sheet hidden is zero and Excel sheet visible is minus one. Now let's check the values of true and false. In VBA, the value of true is represented as minus one. This is a bit counterintuitive compared to some other programming languages where true might be represented as one. Let me show that to you. I'm going to clear this. Let's make this slightly bigger. So I'm going to type question mark true is equal to minus one. So if true is equal to minus one, then I should get true. Otherwise I will get false. I press enter and I get true. If I remove this minus, see what happens. I'm going to delete this true. If I say question mark true is equal to one, then I'll get false. So in VBA, the value of true is represented as minus one. Similarly, the value of false is zero. So if I type false is equal to zero, I will get true. This means that the value of Excel sheet visible and true is minus one and the value of Excel sheet hidden and false is zero. And hence, all these statements that I'm going to type will work. For example, I'll change this to hidden. So this statement can also be written as sheet two dot visible is equal to zero. It can also be written as equal to false. So all these three statements will do the same thing, which is it will hide the sheet. Let me copy this and paste it here. I'm going to call it unhide worksheet. And this becomes visible now. This becomes minus one. And this becomes true. So these three statements 
will do the same thing, which is it will make this sheet to visible. Now a very important thing. Now what I'll do is I will go ahead and I'll hide sheet two because I want to demonstrate something to you. So I'm going to comment out these two statements and I'm going to run this. So if I go back to Excel, you'll see sheet two is hidden. Do you think I can also hide sheet one? So once again, if you go back, you'll see sheet two is hidden. Only sheet one is visible. So if I try to hide sheet one now, will I be able to hide sheet one? Let's test it. I'm going to change this to sheet one and I'm going to run this code and I get an error. Why is that? This is because in Excel, at least one sheet must remain visible that is unhidden at all times. This is a very common mistake that people make when they are hiding worksheets in a loop. So remember, at any given point of time, there should always be one sheet visible. So I'm going to end this. Now let's talk about the third constant, which is Excel sheet very hidden. When a worksheet is set to Excel sheet very hidden, it cannot be unhidden using the regular Excel interface by right clicking on the worksheet tab or using shortcut keys. It can only be made visible again through the VBA code. This visibility state is useful for hiding sensitive or supporting worksheets that you do not want other users to easily unhide. Let's go ahead and let's test this. I'm going to change this to sheet two and then I'll start typing equal to Excel sheet very hidden. I'm going to unhide the sheet two first because if you try to use Excel sheet very hidden on a sheet which is already hidden, you will get an error. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's unhide the sheet two. Okay, let's go back and let's check. Yes, sheet two is visible now. Let's go ahead and let's test this procedure now. If you go back to Excel, you will see sheet two is hidden again. But what if I right click on sheet tab, you will see that unhide is now disabled. Similarly, if I press Alt O H U, nothing happens. Even if I go to the home tab and then click on format and then hide unhide from here as well, you'll see the unhide sheet option is disabled. So remember, you cannot unhide a worksheet from the Excel user interface if you have used the third constant, which is Excel sheet very hidden. To unhide it, you will have to set the visible property to sheet visible like we did earlier. So let's go back. And if I use this statement, I will be able to unhide it. If you go back, it's back. So we saw how to hide and unhide sheets and worksheets in a workbook. Now let's come to the module sample. This is the module that I wanted to talk about. I'm going to close the immediate window. We don't need this. Here I have three sample codes for you. The first is hide sheets in a loop option A. This is the name of the procedure. The link to this workbook is in the description below so that you can download this workbook and you will see this sample module in the attached workbook. So let's understand what this code is doing here. Here I have declared a worksheet object. Here I have declared a variable which will store the count of visible sheets in the workbook. And here I'm using a for loop to loop through all the sheets in this workbook. Here I'm checking if the sheet is visible and if it is, then I'm incrementing the variable count of visible sheets by one. Here again, I am looping through the sheets in the workbook. Here I am setting the visible property as Excel sheet hidden. And then I'm reducing the count by one. Finally, I'm checking here if the count of visible sheets is equal to one, then I'm exiting four. Here I'm assuming that there are more than one sheet. If there is only one worksheet, then this code will give you an error. So if you want, you can also insert a code here or rather you can do it here as well. If this workbook dot sheets dot count 
is equal to 1, then message box, there is only one sheet. We cannot hide it. Exit sub. Why can't we hide it? Because we just tested that in case there is only one sheet, you will get an error. Because at any given point of time, there should be at least one sheet which is visible. So this is the check that you can have. In case there is more than one sheet, then you can use a for loop to count the number of visible sheets. And then you can hide the sheets in another for loop where you also decrease the value of the count of visible sheets. This way, if the count of visible sheets becomes one, you can exit for that way. There is always one sheet which will remain visible. This code can also be written as option B. So what am I doing here? Here I do not have to even check if this workbook dot sheets count is equal to one. Here what I'm doing is I'm sandwiching this piece of code between on error resume next and on error go to zero. If there is only one worksheet, then obviously this line will give an error. But because of on error resume next, you will not get an alert. So this is the shortest way to hide all your worksheets in a workbook. This obviously will keep one sheet visible at all times. Similarly, you can unhide sheets in a loop. So what are we doing here? We have declared a worksheet object. And here in the loop, we are unhiding all the sheets by setting the visible property to Excel sheet visible. It's pretty straightforward. So I've shown you two examples where you can hide sheets in a loop and you can unhide sheets in a loop. There can be so many conditions based on which a user may want to hide a sheet or a worksheet. For example, hiding all sheets which has text workings or say a particular year in the name of the sheet. If you have a specific problem with which you are struggling with, or if you have any questions regarding this video, then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. You can also post your problem in the Facebook group. The link is mentioned in the description below. Alternatively, you can also email me on support at tamexcel.com. So I hope by now you have understood how you have to hide or unhide sheets and worksheets in Microsoft Excel. If you like the way I explain things or if you like the way these videos are created, then feel free to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. The benefit of subscribing is that every time I release a video, you will instantly get an alert. Okay. I also want to inform you that there is a particular playlist. Feel free to watch that playlist at your own pace. There is no hurry. So take your time. And if you're really serious about learning Visual Basic Programming from scratch, then this channel is for you. So like I said, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you soon when I talk more about Sheets and Worksheets in Microsoft Excel.